India is making great strides when it comes to exploring and discovering its lost heritage. While in Nalanda, the ASI has found a 1,200-year-old idol. A stunning, uh, in fact, 900-page report into uh, Kiradi in uh, Tamil Nadu has uh, predated the Sangam era by 200 years further to the 4th BC. Over 18,000 artifacts have been found in only 2% of the digs, which indicates how glorious that era must have been. As the center continues to work towards reviving our heritage, is it time that we start taking pride in it too and basically pushing uh, for more such discoveries to take place and more such assessment and studies to come out. We'll talk about this with our guest. Joining me on the show is uh, Rituraj Devang Jain, uh, heritage filmmaker. Mr. Amit Rai Jain, historian, also joining us on the program. Raja Lakshmi Joshi, political analyst, with us on the program as well. And last but not least, Dr. Bernard Dasami, historian, joining us on the show as well. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this uh, conversation. It's important to understand that uh, we as Indians need to really focus on where we are coming from. And the government has left no stone unturned. Let me start with Raja Lakshmi Joshi. Raja Lakshmi, in fact, uh, even this year, you heard the budget, the culture ministry, has been given, you know, bigger wings, uh, you know, a larger elbow room to spend and figure out that, you know, Vikas development is always on the agenda. But the Virasat factor, the heritage factor is also something that the government is focusing on. How heartening is that? Uh, very good afternoon, Vineet, and uh, very good afternoon to all my co-panelists also. And uh, this is such an interesting uh, subject that you have taken up, and thank you for always taking up uh, subjects that uh, most of the channels don't, uh, uh, you know, ponder on. Uh, this uh, this aspect of looking into our culture, into our history, uh, that is, I think, you know, very important because uh, there are so many lessons in history. There are so many things that we need to look into. And there are so many things that uh, actually can give us, that can be a matter of great pride to us. If you look at all these excavations, if you look at the... Uh, uh, whatever uh, has been found by the Archaeological Survey of India uh, at all these uh, historical sites, uh, you see that you know we, we as a civilization were far more evolved than most other uh, civilizations. In fact, uh, uh, most of them, most of the other civilizations, they have been uh, relatively very new. So uh, they have uh, our uh, uh, findings here, our uh, sites. Uh, in uh, you know in India and a couple of them have gone to Pakistan also. But you know if you look at them, uh, it shows a lot of uh, evolution in terms of uh, uh, architecture, in terms of the planning, in the in the kind of tools that they were using. All of them, you know, they show them as a very evolved civilization. And also, it's another uh, big discovery that uh, most of the migration seems to have happened. Uh, within you know this uh, the northern and the western part of India to the southern part of India also like if you see that all these sites they are actually kind of connected so they kind of show a uh, migration between all these sites and uh, it is a very important uh, part of uh, finding out what exactly was the kind of uh, 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 you know uh, the the culture that was happening there and what what, what exactly were the uh, problems are also faced by them. What was the kind of lifestyle? And it is it is a matter of great pride. I feel that uh, to kind of learn from all of them and also add to it because uh, I feel that actually we have gone back into uh, in, in time. We have not really added to it. If we learn from all of our, our ancient sites, we'd be able to add more to it. So that I think is a very important part. So you know we were. Uh, much more advanced in terms of sanitation, in terms of drainage, and all those parts, which I think, you know, even uh, the British, from whom we kind of always keep saying that we have learned our architecture from them. I think that is a very wrong thing, because if you mm. look at uh, these sites, you see that they were much more advanced than all these civilizations. The kind of sanitation that came into uh, Europe much, much uh, later, in the, in maybe in the last couple of centuries, that was there in these sites, which date back to uh, B BC. Just imagine, you know, hundreds of BC. So those, that I think th uh, all these kind of things uh, actually are a very significant discovery. And I think that the government is doing a fabulous job in going back into all of these sites 
and trying to discover what exactly we were as a civilization. So I think it's a very big uh, uh, task and a very important one at that we need. Absolutely. Amit ji, Kendra Sarkar ki taraf se bhi ye jo push aya hai, jo culture ministry ko jo aur rakm muhiya karai gayi hai, ye ye saaf darshata hai ki hamari virasat एक उभरती हुई विरासत नहीं है बहुत पुरानी विरासत है बस इसकी एक्सप्लोरेशन में इसको एक तरह से जो प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है आजकल उसमें कहीं ना कहीं कमी रह गई थी वो अब पूरी की जा रही है जी जी देखिए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है जैसा कि अभी राजलक्ष्मी ने कहा कि देश के इतिहास को पूरे विश्व के सामने लाने की जरूरत है अभी तक हुआ क्या है पिछले सत्तर अस्सी सालों में जितना काम अंग्रेज करके गए हैं जितना काम टोसी टोरी ने किया जितना कनिंग uh, ने किया उसको बेस बना करके भी आगे नहीं बढ़ा के जो उन लोगों ने रिपोर्ट्स दी जो हमारी डेट्स जो भारत के कल्चर सीक्वेंस की दी है उसके आगे बढ़ने की कोशिश बहुत ज्यादा नहीं हुई उसके अंदर एक ऐसा वैचारिक समूह था या यूं कहें कि एक ऐसा आ, कुछ आ, प्रभावी लोगों का समूह था जो भारत के इतिहास को उस रूप में नहीं देखते थे जिस रूप में उसे देखा जाना चाहिए पुरातात्विक उत्खनन इतने अधिक नहीं हुए जितना यहां किया जाना चाहिए बट ऋतुराज सेड कपल ऑफ पॉइंट्स व्हिच स्टैंड आउट फर्स्टली यू नो पीपल एंड देयर इनिशिएटिव्स डेफिनेटली मैटर बिकॉज़ द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट डज नोटिस एंड सेकंडली दिस इज जस्ट द टिप ऑफ द आइसबर्ग आवर एम आवर एंडेवर आवर एस्पिरेशन हैज टू बी इन अनमास्किंग दिस 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 एंटायर आइसबर्ग व्हिच हैज बीन केप्ट हिडन फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम राजलक्ष्मी जोशी टेकिंग दैट क्वेश्चन टू यू पीपल इनिशिएटिव एंड ऑफ कोर्स making sure that you know heritage and culture are treated with the same sincerity you know as some of the other topics like education uh, like politics or like financial financial and fiscal matters are treated ah uh, yes we need definitely this is something that has been long ignored and there have been attempts in the past i mean there have, obviously the asi has been active in the past also but uh, i think it has uh, found new vigor now with the new government uh you know not sounding political but then uh the, this new government definitely wants to uh, take more pride in the heritage and the culture and also uh, pm modi ji has been talking about jan bhagidari so then that is also a very important part that most people you know we tend to forget about the responsibility of the citizens in uh, all these kind of initiatives and also another thing that i wanted to uh, talk about what uh, what i wanted to point out was uh you know uh, there are certain political parties which have always been talking about some kind of a divide this aryan dravidian divide so this thing actually takes a big beating when you find all these uh, when you uh, look at all these excavations where uh, you know the sites at uh, uh, mohenjo daro and harappa are uh, you know there are a lot of similarities in the scripts and the tools etc with what you find in kiladi and uh, you know in all these uh, sites near madura so that actually completely wipes out that theory of where uh, they're talking about the dravidian civilization as some completely different civilization from the aryan uh, civilization so that kind of a theory completely is wiped out when you look at all these findings and i think that is a very important social factor also because this is something that a lot of separatist kind of elements have been trying to create this divide and they talk about Uh, a completely different state or a completely different country also sometimes so this i think you know uh, uh, this has a lot of uh, significance in a in a, a lot of ways uh, uh, you know th- these sites uh, they link our kind of trading with uh, different countries within uh, the con- within indian uh, subcontinent also so uh, it shows how much of an advanced civilization we were so i think you know it it definitely will make a lot of difference to our, our mindset where a lot of people are still hung over this colonial kind of a mindset where they always keep thinking that uh, the west has to validate us they have to certify uh, what we are we have been doing or what we are worth etc i think that this is a kind of a uh, indication that we as a civilization have always been a uh, superior we have been uh extremely intelligent and extremely evolved and that we definitely don't need lessons from other people to uh, validate us or uh, you know to tell us how to build our structures or how to uh, run our country and uh, in a lot of ways so i think that this is a very important uh, a very significant task uh, we need 
वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट टास्क एंड अमित राजलक्ष्मी ने बिल्कुल ठीक कहा है कि ज़्यादातर क्रेज़ और जो एक ऑब्सेशन है वो ये है कि बाहर के कल्चर्स को बाहर की हेरिटेज को अप्रिशिएट करने के लिए लोग लाखों रुपए यू नो फूक देते हैं पर ऐसा ही जज्बा भारत की तरफ कब आएगा जब हमारे जो एंशंट आर्किटेक्चरल वंडर्स हैं ताजमहल के अलावा उनकी भी उपलब्धियां जो हैं वो सेलिब्रेट की जाएंगी देखिए राजलक्ष्मी ने बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात कही है कि भारत के पास वो सब कुछ है कि जिस पर हम प्राइड कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसको देश की सरकार को उस तरह से कार्य योजना बनानी होगी कि आम लोगों की जनभागिता उसके अंदर जो दिस इज स्टेप इन द राइट डायरेक्शन एंड द हार्टनिंग पार्ट एंड द स्मार्ट थिंग इज दैट द स्टेप हैज ऑलरेडी बिन टेकन इन द रिसेंटली अनाउंस्ड बजट देर हैव बिन मैसिव प्रोविजन फॉर द ए एस आई टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ एंड यू नो बेसिकली गेट द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन प्रिवी टू आर प्राउड एंड आर रिच हेरिटेज